So today, I'm going to introduce the stroke order of katakana and the tips to write a beautiful katakana. I'm going to introduce katakana in the same order as I did in、um, hiragana. So I will start from introducing agyo, a i ue o. So these are the katakana for agyo. A, i, u, e, o. And I'll start from a. The stroke order of a is one and two. So, the tips to write a beautiful a is to write this part straight and write a curve here, and also make this part 45 degrees. Okay? So, I'll write down again one, two. One, two. Okay, next I'll move on to E. The stroke order of E is one and two. And the tips to write a beautiful E is first make this part 45 degrees. Yep. And also、um, this line should come to the center. Yeah, and that's it. So I'll write again one, two. One, two. Great. Next, I'll move on to U. The stroke order of U is one, two, and three. And the tips to write a beautiful U is to write this part equally. So when you see like only this upper part, it will look、um, symmetry. So I'll write down again one, two, one, Two. Next, I'll move on to E. The stroke order of E is one, two, and three. And the tips to write a beautiful E is to make all these parts equal and also、um, write this line slightly longer than this line, okay? So I'll write down again one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, let's move on to O. The stroke order of O is one, two, and three. And the tip to write a beautiful O is to make this line, yeah, this line, 45 degrees. Okay, that's it. So I'll write down again one, two, and three. One, Two and three. Great. So that's the end of Agyo. Next is Kagyo. So these are the katakana for Kagyo. Ka ki ku ke ko. And I'll start from Ka. So the stroke order of Ka is one and two. And the tip to write a beautiful Ka is to write. These lines parallel, and that's it. So I'll write again one and two. One and two. Next is ki. So the stroke order of ki is one, two, and three. And the tip to write a beautiful ki is to make this part 90 degree. It. So, write, a, write down again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Great. So, let's move on to ku. The stroke order of ku is one, two, and three. The tips to write a beautiful ku is to make this part parallel. Yeah, I know there's a lot of katakana to make it parallel, but I'll write again. One, two, three. One, two, three. And next is ke. So the stroke order of ke is one, two, and three. And again, <laughs> the tips to write a beautiful ke is to make this line and this line parallel. Yeah. Okay, so let's write again. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Great. Next, 
uh, let's move on to co. So the stroke order of co is one and two. And again, the tip to write a beautiful co is to write this part and this part parallel. Okay, so let's write again. One and two. One and two. Great. So that's the end of kagyo. Next is sagyo. So the katakana of sagyo looks like this. And so this is sa, shi, su, se, so I'll start from sa. So the stroke order of sa is one, two, and three. And the tip to read a beautiful sa is when you look at this upper part, it should be symmetry. So I think it's a little bit. Um, mine is not that beautiful, so maybe like it's better if it's like this. <laughs> so I'll write down again. One, two, and three. Okay. One, two, and three. Great. Next is she. So the stroke order of she is one, two, and three. And you need to be a little bit careful when you write she because there's a very similar uh, katakana, which is tsu. Yeah, I think it looks very similar. The difference is that these two um, lines, when you write she, you write it like sideways, and when you write a tsu, um, you need to write it like vertical. And also, um, as for the third stroke, uh, when you write she, you will write from down to top, but when you write a tsu, you write from the top to bottom. Okay, so I'll write she again. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Great. So let's move on to su. The stroke order of su is one and two. Okay. So the tip to write a beautiful su is to make this part and this part equal and write this part from the very center. Okay. So I'll write down again. One and two. One and two. Great, so let's move on to set. The stroke order of set is one and two. There's not much to be careful about set, but it would be nice to make this corner round. So I'll write set again. One and two. One and two. And next is so. So the stroke order of so is one and two. Now there's a similar katakana called in, and it looks like this. I know it looks super similar, but the only difference is that um, when you write so, you write from top to bottom, but when you write in, you write from bottom to top. Yeah. So the stroke order will be very important. So um, let's be punctual. <laughs> okay, so I'll write down again. One and two. One and two. Okay, so that's the end of sagyo. Next is tagyo. So this is da, chi, su, de. And I'll start from ta. So the stroke order of ta is one, two, and three. And the tips to write a beautiful ta is to make this line and this line a parallel. Okay, so I'll write down again. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Great. So next is chi. The stroke order of chi is one, two, and three. Okay. And the tips to write a beautiful chi is to make this line straight until this part and curve this line. Okay, so I'll write down again. 
one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Great. So next, let's move on to two. The stroke order of two is one, two, and three. So I've already kind of explained when I was、um, writing she, but let's always be careful and、um, just these lines in vertical and also write this part from top to bottom. Yeah, make sure to、um, stick to the stroke orders, okay? So I'll write again one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Great, so let's move on to te. So the stroke order of te is one, two, and three. And the tip to write a beautiful te is to write this part straight and write this part with a curve. Yeah, and I think that's all. So I'll write down again one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Next is to. So the stroke order of to is one and two. And the tip to write a beautiful to start writing like a little bit left from this center line. Yeah, I imagine this is a center line. Yeah. So if there was a box and you need to write a to there, then it's gonna start from here. Great. So I'll write down again. One and two. One and two. Great. So that's the end of Tagyo. Next is Nagyo. So this is Na. Ne. Nu. Ne. No. And now start from Na. So the stroke order of Na is one and two. And the tips to write a beautiful knot is well, when you start writing this line, start a little bit above from the center line. So imagine this red line is a center line, and also write this line straightly and then write slightly curvy line. Okay, so I'll write down again one and two. One and two. Next is ni. So the stroke order of ni is one and two. And the only tip is to write this line longer than this line. Okay. So I'll write down again. One and two. One and two. Okay. So let's move on to nu. The stroke order of new is one and two. The tips to write a beautiful new is to make this line longer than this line, and also、um, write this part and this part at the same、um, same level. So I'll write again. One and two. One and two. Okay. So let's move on to ne. The stroke order of ne is one, two, three, and four. And the tip to write a beautiful ne is to、um, make this part come to the center, like the very center. Yeah. So I'll write down again. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Great. Let's move on to no. So the stroke order of no is one. And the only thing to be careful is to imagine that the center point will come to the very center. So I'll write down again. One, one, and that's the end of nagyo. Next is hagyo. So these are the katakana of hagyo. Ha, hi, 
the hole. And the hole. So I'll start from ha. The stroke order of ha is one and two. And the tip to write a beautiful ha is to open a little space here. So I'll write down again one and two. One and two. So next is he. Um, the stroke order of he is one and two. And the tips to write a beautiful he is to write this part equally and also to write this line slightly longer than this line. So I'll write down again one and two. One and two. Okay, so let's move on to who. The stroke order of who is one, and that's it. And the tip to write a beautiful who is to open this space widely. So I'll write down again one, one. Next is he. The stroke order of he is one. And the tip to write a beautiful hair is to imagine a flat box. So like, yeah, it will be flatter than other katakanas. So I'll write down again. One. One. Okay. Next is ho. So the stroke order of ho is one, two, three, and four. And the tip to write a beautiful ho is to write this line in the center. And that's it. So I'll write down again. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And that's the end of hagyo. Next is magyo. So this is ma. Me, 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 mo. The stroke order of ma is one and two. And the tip to write a beautiful ma is to um, make this part 45 degree and also um, make this um, point come to the center line. Yeah, so that means like this part and this part should be equal. Okay, so I'll move, I'll write again. One and two. One and two. Okay, so let's move on to me. The stroke order of me is one, two, and three. And the tip to write a beautiful me is to write these part parallel and also open these um, space widely okay so I'll write down again one two and three one two and three next is mu. the stroke order of mu is one and two and the tip to write a beautiful mu is to start writing from the center line and also it would be nice to imagine a triangle okay so i'll write down again one and two one and two next is me the stroke order of me is one and two and the tip to write a beautiful me is to make this part come to the very center point. Yep. Okay, so I'll write down again. One and two. One and two. Next is mo. The stroke order of mo is one, two, and three. So the tip to write a beautiful mo is to write this part straightly. So I'll write again, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, next is Yagyo. So this is ya, 
Yup. And I'll start from ya. So let's do the order of ya is one and two. And the tips to write a beautiful ya is to start this point from the center line and also make this part <laughs> come to the center line. So I'll write down again one and two. Okay. One and two. Next is you. The stroke order of you is one and two. And the point to write a beautiful you is to make this line and this line parallel. Okay, so I'll write down again. One and two. One and two. Next is yo. The stroke order of yo is one, two, and three. And the tip to write a beautiful yo is make this part widely open and also make it equal. Okay, so I'll write down again. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Great. So that's the end of Yagyo. Next is Ragyo. So these are the katakana of Ragyo. La, Li, Ru, De, and Ro. So I'll start from La. The stroke order of La is 1, 2. And the tip to write a beautiful La is to make this line and this line parallel and also open this um, space widely. Okay, so I'll write down again 1 and 2. 1 and 2. And next is the so the stroke order of Li is 1 and 2. And the point to write a beautiful Li is to make this line and this line parallel. And write this line straight until this part and also make this part nicely curved. Okay? So I'll write down again. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Okay. So let's move on to Lu. The stroke order of Lu is 1 and 2. Okay. And the tip to write a beautiful Lu is to write this line um, exactly on the center line. Yeah. And also open this space widely. Okay. So I'll write down again. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Okay. And next is le. The stroke order of le is one, and that's it. And the tip to write a beautiful le is to open this space widely, and that's it. So I write down again one, and that's it. One. Okay. So next is lo. The stroke order of lo is. One, two, and three. And the important part is to imagine that it's in a um, square box. Okay, so let's write again. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, so that's the end of Lagyo. Next is Wagyo. So this is wa, wo, mm. Okay, so I'll write from wa. So the stroke order of wa is one, two, and that's it. And the tip to write a beautiful wa is to write this part symmetry. Yeah. So I'll write down again. One, two. Okay, one and two. Great. So let's move on to wo. The stroke order of wo is one, two, and three. K. 
okay and the point to write a beautiful wall is to um write this line and this line parallel and also write this line longer than this line okay so i'll write down again one two and three one two and three okay so lastly i'll talk about mm, the stroke order of mm is one and two and as i mentioned when i was talking about so uh the stroke order of mm is important so first you'll write from top to bottom and then next you'll write from bottom to top okay so i'll write down again one and two one and two okay so that's the end of introducing all the katakanas I think it's a little bit more simple than um, hiragana, so I hope you can all remember katakana. And I also hope this video was helpful for you to remember katakana and also um, to write katakana in a beautiful manner. I would be very happy if you could like and subscribe my channel if you like this video. Okay, so see you next time. Goodbye!